Well, congenital muscular dystrophy is a disease that can cause all of the muscles of the body, including the heart, lungs, and vocal cords, to deteriorate. But the mind and the spirit can remain untouched. Local artist Darren Guest is proof of that. His body confines him to a wheelchair, but his talent is boundless. 27-year-old Darren Guest in his studio, his work on the walls around him. Watching him, I marvel at the effort it takes to lift the brush, mix the color, move the brush to the canvas. Darren says for him, art is... Freedom. Um, it's the only two freedom I have and for my art. Freedom. Diagnosed with muscular dystrophy at the age of two, at six, his parents were told he'd spend his life in a wheelchair. That must have been hard to hear. Yes. He out, he outgrew his muscles. That one time I said, do you ever think, you know, why you? And he was like, no. He said, because if it wasn't me, it would have been someone else. So. I was very fortunate at an early age to have discovered a passion in life. That's to be an artist. His passion for art came early. His belief in his talent grew at Carver Center for Arts and Technology. Accepted at MICA, he found it difficult to attend. So now he works at home and at local Zoll Studio. Somebody sees his work, they're, like, they're amazed by his work, and then they say, he did that. Yeah, I get that a lot. <laughs> what do you yeah. think? Why do you think they're reacting like that? The first thing about how much work it takes for a person in a wheelchair to do anything, really. Let alone make art. Bound to a wheelchair, Darren draws and paints from photos and from memory of places he can no longer visit. Tori Smith is among the Ravens players who have his portraits. Self portraits include one that is on the cover of a book of his work. As for the future, Darren says he doesn't worry about what he can't control. I'm trying to control that paintbrush. <laughs> That's what I can do. Yes, what he can. incredible work. He is yes. so talented. Yes. And um, this is his book, by the way. He is beginning to take on students. That's the new thing that he's doing. If you'd like to learn more about his book or him or his life, we have a link to his website at WJZ.com.